Welcome to this instructional video presented to you by Magro Crop Science. In this video, we will cover the handling of water sensitive paper cards, the appropriate placement of cards within crops, an overview of experimental design, the monitoring of microclimate, and the reporting of findings following completion of the demonstration process. The demo process involves the use of water sensitive paper rigid paper with a specially coated yellow surface which will be stained dark blue by aqueous droplets impinging on it. To avoid contaminating the paper with moisture, nitrile gloves must be worn while handling them and exposure to the environment must be limited. Magro can supply cards in packs of 50, sized 26mm by 76mm. We recommend cutting the card in half to 26mm by 38mm to fit more subsamples on a single A4 sheet for scanning, reducing curvature in the cards and saving money by doubling the number of cards in each pack. For each spray pass of each treatment, water sensitive paper cards will be placed within the crop, attached directly to crop tissue or on artificial card holders. Card placement should be dictated by the objectives of the grower. Where does the grower want to see improved coverage? At a stem axle for diseases such as sclerotinia stem rot in oilseed rape, on the fruiting body such as botrytis rot of strawberries, or perhaps on the underside of cucumber leaves for powdery mildew. It is important the grower can see improved coverage where coverage is important to their crop protection strategy. It may be the case that a grower wishes to see coverage at more than one position, for example, both at the flowering body of the plant and on lower leaves. In this example, water sensitive paper cards are placed within the top quartile of the canopy attached with crocodile clips to a plastic holder. Here, cards are placed at two positions, one in the second to lowest quartile of the canopy and one in the lowest quartile. Cards can also be clipped directly to areas of the plant where coverage is important. In this example, the water sensitive paper card is clipped to a leaf in the mid canopy. It can be difficult to attach cards directly to stems. An effective method can be to attach a cable tie to the stem and then the card to the cable tie. There are numerous factors in microclimate that may affect spray coverage. Primarily, temperature, wind speed or direction, and relative humidity. Data on all of these factors should be captured immediately prior to each spray event. This information may be useful in explaining anomalous data should there be notable differences in microclimate between spray events. This diagram illustrates a bird's eye view of an example trial design. As previously discussed, there may be more than one sampling position at each sampling point, i.e. one card attached to the flowering body of the plant and another lower down in the canopy, perhaps attached to the stem axils. As the sprayer passes over the crop, the water-sensitive paper cards will capture the spray pattern as areas on the card affected by water will turn from yellow to blue. Following each spray event, cards should be collected as quickly as reasonably possible to reduce environmental exposure. Each card should be stuck with double-sided tape to an A4 sheet with its position labelled. Magro Crop Science will provide an A4 template that will allow for 20 cards to be collected. First, place the data collection sheet onto the scanner bed, minimum 600 dpi. Second, scan the data sheet ensuring the mode grayscale is selected. Third, save the image in the format JPEG. Once each sheet has been scanned and the physical aspect of the trial concluded, the digital files of the A4 scans should be uploaded to a shared cloud storage area arranged and hosted by Magro. A member of the crop science team will use image analysis software to generate a table of results which will have data on each droplet which has been measured and thus a percentage value of spray coverage for each card. This data will be entered into an appropriate data frame and undergo statistical analysis for significance where appropriate. 
This process will indicate the likelihood that differences in coverage between macro and conventional were as a result of the presence of the independent variable, macro. Following data generation and analysis, Magro Crop Science will produce a printable report giving an overview of the trial process along with tabular and graphed results. The report will contain discussion as to the potential commercial implications for the grower of using Magro for their spraying. If you have further questions relating to Magro or customer demonstrations using water sensitive paper, please contact crop.science at magro.com. Thank you for watching.